In problem number one of section 4.2, we find the antiderivative of this quadratic here. Now, to find the antiderivative, the rules are really similar to different to the rules for derivatives, just kind of completely backwards. So what I mean by that is, uh, for example, uh, the antiderivative is also linear, meaning that we can just apply it to each term. And so the first term, we need to find a function whose derivative is this, well, we can use the power rule for antiderivatives. And what that says is that, well, first we raise the power of the exponent. So we have x to the third power now. We can keep the coefficient. And then now we want to divide by the new power. So we have 4x cubed divided by 3 plus, here we have 4 x, again, we want to raise the exponent, or right, raise the power by 1, 4x squared, divide by the new power, which is 2, plus 9, we kind of think of this as 9x to the 0 power, since x to anything to the 0 power is 1. So we'll have 9, raise that to the first power, and you know, divide by 1. And of course, we need to add a constant because um, any func two functions that have the same derivative must differ by a constant, so we can always add in a constant, uh, and it's not going to affect the affect the derivative. Meaning that no matter what value of c, what value c takes on, the derivative of this of the right hand side here will equal the the argument of the antiderivative here. So if we simplify a little bit, we get four thirds x cubed plus 2x squared plus 9x plus c is our final answer.